Now, our next comedian, I'm very happy to have this next guy up. I really love him. Every time I see him, he gets better and better. Give it up for the average black man, Kenny Warren! You guys give it up for yourselves one more time. It's a beautiful crowd. You guys made a lot of noise, all 19 of you. All 19 of you. So right now what's going on is the finals. And I'm and I'm you know, I'm kinda torn because I don't know if I should really watch the, the last game because it's bullshit, it's rigged. It's almost yeah. like WWF. You feel the same way? Yeah. I, mean, I don't I don't feel the same listen, way. Listen man, let me explain it to you. I'm gonna tell you why. LeBron James LeBron James, they giving him every call. He went ten games this season, y'all, ten games without a foul. That dude is 6'9", 270. Jesus. You mean to tell me he ain't bumping to nobody? <laughs> I'm just saying. I got, on the train, I got on the train on 145th Street. When I got off on 50th Street, I had bumped four people. <laughs> <laughs> I had four pals. <laughs> one technical. So a lady stared me down from my seat and I went to sleep on her. <laughs> you know? They called a technical on LeBron. One referee came over and said, wait a minute. LeBron was like, I was talking to myself, ref. The ref said, hold on, LeBron was talking to himself. No technical. I'm just saying, man, it's almost like the Illuminati or something. Shit bullshit, man. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, Spurs and seven? Spurs and seven. Spurs and seven. No. Spurs and seven. Man, Miami is going to win, man. It's, it's set up for Miami to win it. Didn't you just hear what I said? <laughs> Ten games he went without a foul. He's six nine two seventy. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then you seen uh, they find uh, what's the big fella from Indiana? They find him seventy five thousand because he said no homo in one of his uh, after game oh, okay. interviews. Seventy five thousand. The Jewish guy with the white afro. He just said no homo. It wasn't shit. Didn't cost him shit. And this black dude said no homo, and it cost him 75, there's something weird about that, y'all. Black, that, no homo means something to black people, you know what I mean? We say that like, it's politically incorrect, I know. He should have said no Jason Collins. <laughs> he could have got away with that, he could have got away with that. So my name is Kenny Warren, AKA the average black man. And I'm from Portland, Oregon. We got Portland in the house right here. Yeah, this is my, this is my people right there. And I know you guys are thinking the same thing. Black people in Portland? That's not I thought that. Hell no, nah, we left. <laughs> we left. That's what we do. I smoke before I came down. Look at me. So we grew up in Portland. Portland is 2% black. So we grew up with some white friends. So I never forget the first time I was at one of my white friends' house. And we was playing Atari, so that lets you know how old I am. And, then, and the mom came in and was like, put the game away and finish your homework. This kid looks at his mom and was like, oh, fuck, mom, you're a bitch. And I was like, white kids get to talk to their parents like that? So I went over and I told my mom about it. I was like, mom, you won't believe this white kid called his mom a bitch. And my mom was like, boy, if you ever talk to me like that, I will beat the black off. And I was like, well, then I'll be white. And by the way, I'm going to get time out. So I grew up in a single parent home with my mom, you know, and, uh, you know, she was a good provider. She kept me well fed and everything, but she had a couple questionable boyfriends. I'll never forget she had a boyfriend, Barbado, a boyfriend from Barbados. His name was Michael Anthony Peter Sylvester Montgomery McQuilkin. No hyphenation. And you know, those, those dudes from the islands, they like to cook that spicy food. You know what I'm saying? So from the ages of 8 to 10, I was eating jerk this and curry that. You know, other kids was coming to school with now laters and Mike and Ikes. I was coming to school with Rolaids and Tums. Stomach bubbling. Stomach bubbling. So I moved to New York in 2004 and I started working at this barbershop up in Spanish Harlem. Now I'm the average black man and I love the kids, no Michael Jackson, but I don't like cutting their hair that much, you know what I mean? So I had this kid in the chair and he's grabbing the clippers and I'm sweating. The mom sees the frustration in my face so she comes over and she's like, Kenny, you have to be patient with him because he's autistic. So I'm fresh from Morgan, we still on retarded. I was like autistic. I don't want him to draw no pictures. I just want him to be still so I can cut his damn hair. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. 
So you know at the barbershop, you get all types of characters coming through there. And uh, I got this kid, he's a drug dealer. He comes through, and he's trying to convince me that if I listen to the Jay-Z Reasonable Dow album, from, from front to finish, I'll be able to sell dope and never get caught, just like this. <laughs> so two years later, when he came back from his vacation to an island, yeah. Rikers Island, Rikers. I had to ask him, man, was the CD scratch? I like this crowd, man. I can tell y'all got cable because y'all y'all know the black jokes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, this is good. This is good. We're not from Portland. You're not from Portland. No. But it's a lot of Italians and y'all ain't nothing but niggas anyway. Oh. I said it. I said it. So what did you say? You scared go to church. <laughs> so, so. Let me say something else, like, I work with different types of characters as well, you know what I mean? I got, got you know how you got those people that always say someone's name wrong or make up a word, and when you say what, they're like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to tell you. So, I got a guy that cuts hair next to me, and he looks over at me one day and was like, yo, Kenny, you think Walt really has sex with 10,000 women? And I was like, Walt? And he was like, Chamberlain. I said, man, his name was Will Chamberlain. He was like, man, you know what I'm talking about. And I was like, no, I thought you was talking about Walt Disney. I was like, I don't think he, was, I don't think he had sex with that many women. I think he was too busy drawing. Walt Disney, I, I believe he's autistic. Got that. You're an appreciator. You're an appreciator. I like your style, man. You Jewish, you got the ponytail in the back. I thought it was supposed to be two on the side. Still fly. Still fly. Did the lights just flicker for me to... Oh, okay. I was like, damn, that was fast. I was like, damn, that was fast. All right. So um, I was thinking, man, I was thinking that I got into this comedy stuff kind of because, you know, I feel like God is a comedian, you know? Like, ladies, how many times you guys seen that hunk of a guy, you know, at a store, bank, train platform, and you go to lock eyes with him, and you see that one of his eyes is lazy? And fellas, how many times you know you've been on the train platform, the bank, whatever, and you see that girl with that fat ass, you know? And you just, me, I'm like, oh shit, that's a fat ass. I'm gonna go ahead and follow her for a couple blocks. I'm not going this way, but fuck it. <laughs> then you turn the corner and you see she got a fat ass stomach too. Oh. I call those donkey kangaroos. Donkey kangaroos? <laughs> donkey kangaroos. Donkey kangaroos. Remember, you got that from the average black man. <laughs> To the average white man. To the average white man. Donkey kangaroo. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. So I'm a thoughtful bachelor, y'all. A thoughtful bachelor. I got the MTA subway map on my shower curtain so she can see how to get her ass home in the morning. <laughs> That's not a joke. Is it both from Bachelor? Yeah. Come to my house and use the bathroom. Alright. He gave me the light. He gave me the light. So I'm going to end it with this. I mean, this weather is real good and everything. And uh, I see that a lot of ladies are starting to put on your sundresses and the open toe shoes and stuff. Yeah. That shouldn't have on the sundresses and the open toe shoes and stuff. Because I'm a toe aficionado, and I'm on the train sometimes, and I'm looking at ladies' toes. And okay, I seen a couple ladies that I was like, damn. She must have been a barefoot field goal kicker in her past yeah. life. That shit don't look right. She had my full, full disclosure. She can wear Uggs in August, and it's okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I'm Kenny Warren, the average black man. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. Yeah.